I'm sorry, Joshua Williamson. This was obviously, well, you'll see. I love your work. We all knew this day was coming. DC Comics and fans knew it. Joshua Williamson knew it. Damian Wayne's Robin was a massive, massive failure. And finally, after 16 issues, they are willing to admit their mistake and they are canceling the series and redoing the entire Batman line. Joshua Williamson's run on Robin on the series was basically centered around Robin falling in love the first time or second or third and coming out as heterosexual. He only defeated one villain in this series. It took 16 issues to tell that story because Joshua William was so dead set on Damian Wayne being straight and not being Robin or Damian as we knew him. I have pointed it out several times how this flagship Robin title had failed. The sales were not strong. The launch of the issues of the series was in 2021, right around 60K estimated sales. But for issue three, Comic-Con has it as only 49,000. Let's take a look at issue 17. It was dropped out of the top 100, estimated to only be selling around 20 to 30K copies a month in May of 2022. Robin 14 took to the number 64. However, Robin 15 fell out of the top 100 and down to the 115 spot. The title struggled in large part to connect with an audience. So now it's official. Without these issues, with numbers worse than Superman, son of Kal-El, Robin is canceled. The series only lasted less, what, 17 issues? Dropping right behind Son of Kal-El's 18 issues. As far as Damien continuing, here is where the spin comes in, right? He has been picked, had to be picked up and stuffed into a Batman book because according to YouTubers, Batman is the only book that sells, and I believe them 100%. So much so, I won't even fact check them. But why? There was action. There was Mortal Kombat. There was new characters in Lazarus Pits. What caused this book to actually fail? The only conclusion here is that the sales were so low and down because of the heterosexuality being blatantly forced down people's throats by way of his straight love interest, Flatline. They even do the whole like, oh my God, will he save the world? Kiss at the end, you know what I mean? The obvious agenda was here all along. The wave of propaganda has been here and not queer for some time and it's boiled over. Fans are sick of it and the sales reflect that. Joshua Williams, even came out to thank his team, mentioning buzzwords about his agenda, like identity and thank you. Clearly, the only logical explanation is that he hates you. And all because of Robin. And all of DC Comics hates you. And they are only pandering to cis white dudes that like boobs. Really, this whole series was about Damien being a kid, kissing girls, and Damien was almost an afterthought. He was relegated to the back of the story um, because of Flatline, Damien's girlfriend, and her daddy issues. We even saw Damien come out as straight to his mother. No wonder the sales tanked. No wonder the sales tanked. As far as Robin, as I mentioned before, he is getting pity and thrown into a Batman book, not by Joshua Williamson. They need Mark Wayne to come in and save the character. Of course, this is DOA. This is D even if I love it. It's DOA. So much so that they had to take Williamson away from Damien 
and move them to Superman comics, which is likely going to die again. Common sense here dictates that if it were selling good, they would have not canceled it. Would Jim Lee or Marie Jovins or Jim Lee take a book that sold well and cancel it? But they're just trying to evolve the storyline and the character. Shh, they don't know that. They're in it for the culture more. So facts are irrelevant and easily hijacked for an agenda. You fucking ruined.